Please pray with me. O oh Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of each heart be acceptable in your sight. Lord, you who are our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Well, we don't always get to read or hear the psalm of the day. Um, each week we have a lectionary that has an Old Testament and a New Testament and a gospel reading. And along with that is a psalm. So we haven't gotten to hear the psalm today. But our Psalm 85 in the lectionary says this today. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. And from Isaiah 40, we heard a voice cries out. And from Mark 1, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. So again this morning we hear, let me hear what God will speak. A voice cries out the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Advent is a season of preparation, and this has been our theme in particular this year, this season of Advent. Each week as we've lit the candles or as we continue to light the candles, we'll be addressing one particular way that we prepare, and today's theme is listen. Last week was watch, this week is listen. But it's one thing to say we prepare by listening, isn't it? It's another, the tr another to wonder, well, what does that mean? What does it mean to listen? What are we listening for? I often feel like this world is so noisy. There's so much to listen to and so much to hear. But as we heard in today's candle lighting, even when the world is quiet for the most part, there's often still, at least in our homes and our cities, a buzzing that comes with electricity or cars on the roads and highways. There's sometimes students listening to music or working on homework or most often both, as I find with my own children. I don't know how they do it. I can't listen to music because I sing along all the time, so I'd never get my homework done. But I know a lot of young people do that. Um, there's people watching the news or readying themselves for the next day. With the invention of ways to see in the dark, with the invention of electricity, the world is always busy and there's always noise around us. There's also the noise of creation. But I think this is a different kind of noise. Creation is where the voices of God are most clearly heard in the wind, in the breeze, in the songs of the birds. The sounds of creation actually bring peace to the quietness of the earth. And I think this is the peace that we seek. One time when I was in high school, I had the opportunity to go parasailing. It was the kind where they anchor you to a boat and then they crank you out away up into the sky. And it, the further and further we got away from the boat, the quieter and quieter it got until we got to a point up in the air where you couldn't even hear the, the ocean or the boat or any other sound at all. It was so quiet. It was a holy moment. And in that moment, I realized the air that I could feel and hear, just that wind and that breeze that was rushing by, that was the Holy Spirit for me. That is the peace that we seek. And while it is noisy, it's also quiet. Perhaps the loudest noise of all comes from within our own minds. The voices that echo in our heads of all the people during our day, of those who have influenced us most in our life for good or for bad, the stories that we've learned, the lies we've told ourselves to cope with the world around us, those things that we learned young because we didn't know how to cope with the world in a grown-up way, and so we adopted skills to help us cope and realized later on that they're not very helpful. These are the voices that often keep us up at night. I must get everything done to be successful or responsible. There's so many things to do. I must look good so that people will accept me. I must be smart enough so people will listen. I am afraid. I am a lost. I'm alone. These are often the voices that we hear in our own heads. Mind you, there are good voices too, but have you ever noticed how those good voices can easily get 
drowned out by the louder voices, the negative voices? Why is it that we could get 10 compliments on something and one negative comment, but that one negative comment is the thing that seems to work through our minds over and over and over? Why? What? How? Instead of taking those 10 and seeing how much greater they were. Have you ever considered to listen on purpose? What do I mean by that? Do you ever incline your ear to hear God and what God might be saying to you? Have you ever stepped outside to listen for the Holy Spirit brush across your face and your body? As Isaiah talked about, how God's breath never fades, the word of the Lord never fades. And it's this breath that's whispering to you, you are good enough. You are God's precious child. You are not alone. Have you ever listened intently for what God is speaking to you? It's one thing to say that we are in listening in preparation for Advent, but it's another thing, again, to know what we're listening for. All of the readings today give us a hint, though. Let me hear what the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people. A voice cries out, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight a desert highway for our God. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And from 2 Peter, do not, exor do not, exor do not exor ignore, <laughs> what is that word? Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness is at home. The psalmist informs the people that the Lord will speak peace to his people. And in this peace, the Lord will restore them to favor. And Isaiah comforts the people as he speaks to them in the wilderness, in the exile, that the Lord is coming to restore them to favor, that the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all shall see it together. Mark speaks that we are to prepare the way as John was sent to prepare the way. Mark's words speak to us good news to share with others about a baptism that isn't just man-made, but a baptism that's filled with the Holy Spirit. When we listen as part of our Advent preparation, in other words, when we listen as we await the coming of the Lord, we are to listen for the words of hope, comfort, and peace that the Lord has for us. We are to listen, as the author of 2 Peter says, with patience, as the Lord is patient with us. Our time goes by so quickly, but the Lord's time is slower. And this is great news because we are slow to repent. So Peter claims that God waits for us so that we may all have an opportunity to turn back towards God, which is a literal definition of the word repent, to turn back around or turn towards God. And God is patient with us as we work towards this in preparation for Christ to come again. There is so much noise around us all year, really, but especially at this time of year. There's so much more bustle, so much more preparation for the celebration of Christ's birth. But if we're honest, I think we have to admit that we also bustle around in preparation for what we have created as the holidays. These preparations and noises can easily get in our way and cause us to miss the quiet voice, or as Elijah experiences, the still small voice that is God. The voice of one crying in the wilderness that says, prepare the way of the Lord. Or the voice of Isaiah comforting us because God restores us. And what we're preparing for is truly a restoration of righteousness and favor in God's sight. Honestly, this happens every day if we listen. While Christ's birth at Christmas brings everlasting hope, Advent reminds us that in all of our preparations, all the time, every day, there is hope for us to receive. 
that God is patient and slow to anger, that God will comfort us in our exile, in our wanderings, in our struggles. Every day there is hope as we listen, as we await again the coming of Christ. So then may we be still and tune our ears to hear the voice of God that calls to us in peace and love. Amen. <laughs>